Hello, everyone. Once again, Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining. This is Empowerment Network. It's been a couple of days. We've not been here. We're very excited to be back. Hope everybody's doing okay. And of course, Collins and Sister Gladys have joined me this evening because we want to uh, have a quick look. We just want to make an assessment of the whole year 2023, what has happened so that we should find a reason why we should walk into the new year with all the positive energy we can afford. Hi, Brother Collins. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, a comfort, and Merry Christmas to everyone. Glad to be here with Sister Gladys. Thank you. Right. Yeah, sure. Merry Christmas, Sister Gladys. Merry Christmas, Sister Comfort, and Brother Collins. Always mm -hmm. nice to be here after enjoying the Christmas. Yes. You know, why we are doing this, guys, I think we all should know because uh, for the past couple of weeks, it was all about the A-bomb and all of these things. Everybody's pre preparing their vessels and everything to collect their oil, like the story in the Bible. And so at some point we find out the oil is not ready and people are like one, two, three, saying a few stuff. And so uh, we just want colleagues to go first. Let's just try to have a look. How has 2023 been? Have we achieved anything at all? Well, 2023 was really a fantastic year for on passive. Because if we look at the all the achievements and what they have acquired, um, you know, for the whole of 2023, that was one of the biggest milestones that on passive mm -hmm. really made. We can't say more than that because if we look at all the partnership. You know, we're talking about all the partnership, the Tag Day Award, talking about the African Arab Summit mm -hmm. Award, we're talking about the JITEC, we're talking about the Supercar Majelis, you know, the partnership with Dubai Police. You know, there are just so many, you know, the the, the women conference bit in Dubai, you know, they just a lot, 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 lot. We sometimes we can we can easily forget that achievement. But all of this partnership is massive for Unpassive. And we're talking about the number of companies that are looking into Unpassive, trying to become partners. You know, you know, it's just so massive. It mm -hmm. is massive. We're talking about train station. Look at the train station. It's 2023. You know, these are just like, there's no way we can, we can say, hmm. I think the 2023 will go down, you know, in the history of Unpassive as one of the biggest achievements. For all what they have done so 2024 it's just like just walk you know, yes it's already done <laughs> indeed so as a glad if you can please bear with me let me go back to collins because you are making a long list of these achievements however there's this um new brother of ours i just appreciate and i respect him so much but he's very respectful in how he comes with his critique he says he appreciates all we are saying but he thinks that we're hyping something here because what people just want to see now is money in their pockets. So I was wondering, is it all just about this money or is it about the journey? Is it about the, 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 the vision? You know, there's more to it than just money. That, that was what I was thinking. So what would you say to this brother? I just really appreciate because he's very respectful. Yeah, so if we look at what the brother is, is saying, Sometimes people get it all wrong because you must achieve something for the money to flow. For cash, for cash to flow, you must deliver something. If you say, okay, I want the money, we're speaking about money. Where would the money come from? Where would the money the money cannot just come from sky? The company must deliver something to the public for the comp for the for the public to react, to respond. You know, you have that demand and supply. The company must supply the need. For people for, for to meet the growing demand, then that is when cash will flow. But a lot of people miss it. When we are excited talking about all of this partnership, every company wants to partner on passive. It's not for fun. It is it's something that they, they have seen something on passive and they want to use the products and services. That's where the partnership come in. And when they come in, what will happen? Cash will flow. And it's from that cash where things can open now and we can start to see something dropping in our wallet. You know, we ourselves as founders or affiliate cannot put money in that wallet. Only those companies that will come in will put money in the wallet for us to, to be happy. So 
I even prefer all of this, you know, if billions of companies can sign in from passive product, I know we are all done. We are mm -hmm. done forever. Our life will be sorted forever and ever. What is the use building product nobody can buy? And right. then you're asking for, you're you expecting cash to flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hold it there now. Uh, Sister Gladys, thank you for waiting. And I think you just have something to say. We are looking at the, the gains that we've made this past year. And just queue up from where Brother Collins stopped, please. Thank you so much, Sister Colin, uh, Sister Comfort, and Brother Collins. Thank you for coming from that perspective. And I think we can all, you know, we see and we can relate. Mm -hmm. Partnerships was special to me. Uh, it gave me a different perspective of what on passive is and how what the approach that the company is using, and how wide the company wants to go how far it wants to venture and how innovative it is and how on passive wants to make technology really accessible in different ways to help different aspects of life, different aspects of businesses, even the way it presented itself. You know, you could not deny recognizing on passive. Mm -hmm. You can try, if you don't like it, you can try to deny on passive but what it's doing, it's speaking for itself. And in due time, it will continue speaking for itself. But also it made me to think more, uh, more now on the side of the CEO, Mr. Ash Mufare, who we always refer to our brother and friend, mm -hmm. uh, seeing how much preparation he's doing. Sometimes we may question, is it necessary? But when I was looking, especially throughout this year of 2023, starting from 2022, but mostly 2023, I realized that, uh, what he said before. He said, you pay now, you play later. We yeah. have seen someone who is dearly paying now because he wants us to play later. And I just wish that we could see that aspect. I have appreciated that. I have seen a leader who shows that he cares especially this year with everything that is going on. Mm. You know, he could easily say, that's it, I'm done. You got your $97, bye. But he decided to lay even a stronger ground. I was so touched by the fact, especially I like I liked the GTEx Global. I've liked everything that I've seen, but the one of Egypt, that one hit home and i was like it's unbelievable that we are also going to be part of this big movement and our presence in africa will be felt the fact that they have put foot in egypt so for me the partnerships was the big thing that i take and i may have not understood very well exactly what partnership meant but dr tarek posted a poster in courage if you haven't seen on facebook where he was talking about, uh, that's I think this past week, regarding recession, the relationship between recession and the partnerships. And I now get it. I see why on passive is focused on partnerships. If you put that with what Brother Colin says, everybody in on passive should be proud of the partnerships going on that we don't have to do anything about it, but they are happening. So for me, we have achieved so many relationships, seeing new leadership blossoming up, seeing founders, you know, so many great things, but partnership was number one for me. Thank you. Back yeah, exactly. That, that's powerful, guys. You know, um, 2023 has been one of the most uh, tough and most difficult years in this journey of Unpassive because we have sat here and watched upheavals come and go and the CEO has not wavered, you know. He has faced situations where we were like, oh my God. But then he comes with a smile and then he calms me down. He's like, guys, just chill, we're moving on. You know, nothing's happening. It's just, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a saying in French which says, uh, La caravan pass a the, the truck is rolling around and the dog is barking. However, the truck is going, you know, you don't stop it. That's just it, you know. So um, that's just on passive for us. Let's not forget who remembers on passive. Where are we today? Where did we start from? Remember the day they launched on passive? 
you know, we were like, oh my God, this cannot be true. We start watching, we, are, we have a, a, a attendance of uh, 300, we go up to hundreds, we go up to 1,000, until we go up to 80, almost 90,000 capacity running six hours on, uh, on, on interrupted, smooth, clean, and beautiful. Who asked for what else, or something better? You know, so those are the things, those are the privileges that we have in our hands, which we are not seeing. Like we were talking with Red the other day because we just wake up one morning and see some company out there flaunting whatever they have. We worship them, we cheer them up, we adore them, they're great and stuff. How did they get here? Only God knows. But then that privilege, like my brother Charles says, of you being that child, being with mama in the kitchen and watching everything being prepared from scratch, you can tell the story. How much do you buy that for? Because when we look at all of these things we are trying to say, it is summed up in the reality that if it's about the A-bomb, Unpassive is not about the A-bomb. Unpassive is not about money because money was a done deal the moment you signed. You saw the vision and signed and popped into the ecosystem. Money was a done deal. Any other thing is what we have at hand now, what we're waiting for. The moment we clear it out of the way, listen, like my brother Colin says, it's finished. Our lives are settled and our generations to come, they are going to read about poverty and struggle in books because they will not know how that feels. So Collins, let me not hijack this show because you just want to continue. So like I was saying, Unpassive has nothing to do with the A-bomb or with money or stuff like that. It's all about the journey. Collins, I'll hand over back to you, please. Yeah, it's a comfort. It's true. If you cannot enjoy the journey, uh, you will not even value the money. Because sometimes when people sit and they always ask, I need it now. I'm here for the money. It means you are not even, you are undervaluing on passive. How many times most of us go and use Facebook? We value Facebook and we don't use Onet. You know, so we use somebody else's product. You know, we use o, we use Zoom, but we don't use O Connect. Though you have O Connect and you've paid for it, you don't use O Connect. You're using Zoom. Mm. When was the last time we think about Zoom? We don't use Zoom anymore. We go straight on O Connect. And if you don't use it, you will not see the value because your mindset was about money. Mm -hmm. Just log in, go and check your wallet, go back. That's the only thing some founders know to log in, go to their wallet, log out, and say, "Oh, there is nothing there." Mm. So they don't really care. They, they cannot. They cannot really see. And sometimes it is difficult to explain to founders, no matter how you want to talk, because their mindset was about the apples. But one day, this world will happen to them. Mm -hmm. They will use the apple one day, mm -hmm. go and purchase product out there, which is already in your ecosystem for free. Mm -hmm. They will go and buy Bitly to trim their URL, forgetting that mm -hmm. they have. Because that's how sometimes things happen. You throw money out. Meanwhile, you have a sophisticated product. Yeah. You have O3, you go and use Bitly. You have O, o, um, o Tracker will come. Those who have business to, to understand their business, they'll go and pay hundreds of thousands to, to Google Analytics. Is that not stupid? Exactly. Exactly. Yes. They already You already have it. You know, you are paying for it. Imagine where will you ever see a company where you are paying using the products and the company is paying you? Products that are of high value, high quality, you know, you can use it for your own business. You are not stopped to use the product for your own company because that is what it was built for. Mm. But then you wait for the Apple. Someone will come pay to use the product. You take the Apple, go back and pay for another product out there. So, the, the time has come where people should remove that mindset of money, mm. go down and start to see what on passive offer. You know, those who have businesses, you know, there are things in on passive uh, which they'll be able to use to enhance their own business. And if they don't start to look on passive in this way, they'll be so disappointed, so frustrated because all their mind was Apple. For, for some reason, I just feel like interrupting you, bro, because a couple of days ago, uh, Sister Gladys, I don't know that you were here when, when uh, Dr. Lisa Lee came. Did you join us? Dr. Lisa said he she uses uh, old trim at least once a week. You know, I just want to go really that low. 
Why is she using it? For what? She's a business person. Like Collins is saying, why do I go paying thousands for, for some Google Analytics when Audrey is already doing it for me, for free, and even more effectively? You know, because all, all trim, I just love all trim because when I go, I see even somebody from my neighborhood where I grew up from who is watching or who has clicked on my stuff. So sweet, believe me, guys. Let's let we are ready for business. You know, uh, Sister Gladys, sometimes you would hear uh, for those of us who do uh, religion and Bible and stuff, you say a prophet is never known in their own hometown. This is that situation where we've got a prophet here, we don't know them. We underlook them, we underrate them because it's ours and it's coming from in-house. We are ready. There's a lot happening. Like the blogs, when you read through the blogs, you improve on your business even before any other thing ever comes, before old tracker comes and all of that. So much, much, much value. You know, uh, Sister Gladys, a couple of days ago, Collins was on fire. When uh, Ash came, you know, with the, with the heat from our brothers in Bangladesh, and people were quite broken down to, oh, my God, the A-bomb is not here. Collins had a, was really vibrant about the positive uh, a, a part of this whole thing, you know. And I just want you and myself to start first and let him crown this, this, this part of it, how positive this is. Because we're just trying to throw this out there so that people should find reason why they buckle up and pop into 2024, like, with the most of the energies they can afford. So, Sister Gladys, you know, it was a plot that we had the, 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 another struggle with these people. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm already uh, just take it, sis. That's yeah. Me. I get you, Sister Comfort. And indeed, positivity is very, very much needed in this situation. And it's, it's just nice to be positive when you are doing something that you value. Uh, as you say, the prophet is never res respected in his hometown. But guess what? There will always be one or a few who respect. And those are the only people who will benefit. It's unfortunate that we have spent a lot of time uh, with our CEO and you know we know the great minds who are working tire tirelessly to see this comes you know, out successfully. Uh, they are working for our future. And here we are almost taking everything for granted. You know, unfortunately, some of us feel very, very entitled and we kind of lose that aspect of appreciation and of recognizing the importance of what we have at hand. We even lose uh, the ability to even realize what we have. But guess what? I see affiliates who have come in and I'm sure there are many you have seen yourselves for sure. If you, I mean, if you have, we have talked the outside here and we see how serious they are. They want to work. They have realized what they see they have at hand. And here we are, we are still back in the mentality. That we haven't, many of us have not stepped to the affiliate mentality so that we started treating this as a business of which we have the privilege to have the company do most of the work for us. So, you know, negative minds or negative people can be, you know, drowning sometimes. They can be draining. So I think it's time where we have reached as much as we try to be nice, encouraging people, motivating people, because that's what we've been doing. At some point, we just have to allow people to be, you know, to decide what they want to do. And if they want to go along with the company vision, to align with the company vision, stay positive, they will succeed, as our CEO has told us. And for those ones who don't want, they have the choice. You know, we got the $97 back. So I believe to be an affiliate, you just have, you know, to make a decision and if you make it stay positive. How can you succeed in business if you don't stay positive? So that's all I can say. It's important exactly. to be positive. Yeah, so Bra Collins, I just want to say one quick thing because when you we are rounding up, when you say it now, we, that would be it for this evening. So uh, you know, one of the things I learned because uh, you know, one of the things that a lot of things that happen, they show another opportunity shows up for you to learn from the CEO. That man is quite uh, he's so, he's just different. Um, sometimes I'm wondering like, does God really did God really use the same fabric? you know, to put him together like he did. But yes, thanks be to God, we are all made in his image, right? So what, what is happening here? He's like, 
when these obstacles occur, they happen, we learn. And according to him, he learned a lot from what happened mm -hmm. last time. Mm -hmm. So Collins, I want you to go on this and this would be uh, the final one for the, for the day. Yeah, you know, with a lot of things that happen, Ash always learn. You know, he said the company will learn and they will move on because the, he said the harder the battle, what happened, the bigger the fight and everything. But at the end of the day, we always, we will always win. You know, and I make a statement. He said, "Not every, not every war we will win, or every fight we will win." But no, at least you, you, you cannot win. Uh, we cannot win every battle, but we can. We are not going to lose the war. Yeah, we are not going to lose the war. the war. Yes. So, and they, this, like, they are all statement that is made because every time there is an obstacle, Mr. Ash Mofara and the team will find a way out, and when they find the way out, it will be even more better than what. With, it's like the result and the outcome is really massive because they learn, they adjust, and, and they move. And this will, will happen. You know, on passive will never stop. The things will be happening even in our lifetime. And, you know, things will be happening, but the company will always find a way around to move on. Like what happened in Bangladesh, maybe they were just, I don't know what happened. They were just so silly to do that. You forgot that you are dealing with an IT technology company where everything you are doing, you can be caught because the system is robust and they can see every movement, you know. But what happened to me, I think founders should be very careful when, when you are dealing with technologies because there is no way you can hide, you know, you can hide yourself. You can do all what you think you're strong, but there is a way that they will pick you, you know. So... You know, these things have just teach, you know, most of the company. And now what happened? The company is more sophisticated. If you look at it, they'll put all of the others, other security measures to dictate. So now only humans can go there. You cannot pass that, 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 that capture. Because the capture will identify that you are a human trying to pay or trying to register on passive side. So that's how it is. You do something, they make it more sophisticated. They make it more complex, which is... It's really good for the company to save the company and to, to safeguard all of us, the founders. But I believe and I know that next next year, which is next month, next week, will be a very great year for Unpassive, where all of us will be smiling. Those who were thinking now, this is the apple. One day we'll ask them now, now you've received the apple. Tell us, what have you done? Have your name changed from Collins to something? Sometimes let us put our anxiety and just be patient because with technology you are either patient or you don't have to be there sometimes when you're not patient with technology it company then there's no point being there because you cannot force it like the company always said if it will take three days you cannot force it to one hour if it will take one month you cannot force it for one week it takes time just take your normal computer we all use computer when your computer start to reboot and they tell you run for one hour what can you do you just sit there, look at your computer, you are frustrated, but there is nothing. The computer is just doing, that is how technology is. <laughs> so I will leave it as a comfort. Just want to wish everyone a happy holiday season. I'll yeah, sure. I think, <laughs> yes, everything is looking well, looking good. Everything is working as planned. I can never stop taking, stop saying this. You can't take this off my lips, except that you are not plugged in. There's no other way of saying it, guys. However, it's going to be a powerful, another crazy powerful year. And we are just gradually one step at a time walking into that part of our lives, that new life of ours, where it's all going to be joy, 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 smiling, smiling, smiling. What else? Let's just get ready, guys, for the greatest shapes of our minds, or of our lives, you know. So uh, we are planning something, the Old Tech Pro, they are inviting people to uh, fellow affiliates and everybody if you can please to join us on saturday at uh, 12 noon eastern standard time for us to just have a quick time together we are thinking that it's going to be wonderful uh marty will surely drop the link for us at the back office or uh, the oes and we go from there however we are back we've been away for a few days just to have some time with family and of course, see you again soon, guys. Thank you. If you find this important, go ahead and share. And if you are new here, subscribe. Ask us any questions in the chat section. 
And of course, we'll be back with answers. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you, bro and sis. See you soon, guys. Bye.